Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I'm going to be talking about all the books that I downloaded in the month of May. I always love a good ebook haul, so I love doing those videos for y'all. Um, I also just love showing off books that I get even when I get them for free or off Kindle Unlimited. So let's get into this. The first book that I have um, is actually one that was sent to me as an ARC. So I got an ARC for The Problem with Players by Brittany Cherry. I got an e-ARC and a physical ARC, but this is an ebook haul, so I'm not gonna be bringing that out. But this is her newest release, which I haven't started. Um, the heroine's name is Avery, which I don't know if Brittany meant to do that. I don't know. <laughs> Um, but I like to, I like to think that she did. Anyway, so this is a sports romance. I'm pretty sure the hero is a baseball player, if I'm not mistaken, and the heroine is like big into sports. So that's all I really know so far. I've only really read the first couple chapters. Right now she's in a relationship with like a different guy and it's like not really going well. So I'm excited to read more. So thank you so much to Brittany and your team for sending this my way. I love you. Next, I have my Kindle Unlimited section. So the books that I got off of Kindle Unlimited in May. So first is Surviving Scar by Ruby Dixon. Um, I re-downloaded this because I really want to read it soon because I still haven't read it yet. Um, and there's like three, Ruby's three newest releases I have not read yet because like I, I like them on audio, okay? Um, but I also love her book. So we'll see when I get to this, if I'll wait for the audiobook. but I downloaded it because I want it to be there in my face and be like, if you don't know what to read, here's this book by Ruby you can do it. But part of me is also like, oh, we're just gonna wait for the audiobook. Um, this is the next book in the Ice Planet Clones series, which is a spinoff spinoff to Ice Planet Barbarians. So I don't know who either of these characters are. So we'll see what happens there. Then I have Song of the Abyss by Emma Hamm, which I read in May and um, fell in love with. This is the second book to Whispers of the Deep. These are like merman, mermaid romances that are really good. They're really if they're full of size difference and longing and language barriers, like, oh, I love that. I really loved book one. And I was like, I don't know if this could be better than book one. But like, I feel like it was really good. I do love the disability representation in here, especially with it being like a monsterish fantasy read because that is so rare. And again, remember, I am a big advocate for disability representation. So I loved that in here, both characters. So the heroine is hard of hearing. Um, her father is awful. She was locked away. By the way, this takes place in like underwater cities. And so the hero is like this merman and the heroine lives in this underwater city dome. The merfolk don't like humans at all because they've kind of like ruined the ocean with their underwater cities. So the hero has kind of been tasked to um, kidnap the leader of this one city dome has been tasked to kidnap her. What he doesn't know is that she wants to leave. Like she's like, yes, please kidnap me, please. Because her father is very abusive. She became hard of hearing when um, one of his explosives went off and she lost the majority of her hearing. She gets by by reading lips and she has this like um, android, like robot little creature that like can put a lens over her eye. Like the creature sits on her head and then has a lens over her eye and the creature will, her name's Bitsy, <laughs> will um, write the text of whatever whoever's speaking um, for her so she can read it. So that's kind of like how she gets by. And then the hero in book number one, you saw, you got to witness him lose an arm. So there's that representation as well. So. This like gigantic, he's one of like the biggest merman ever, like so powerful, so strong, like this giant merman, like is so grumpy and like scary, but he falls for this like sweet little blonde woman. And um, it's really cute. I, I love it. I could talk about this book all day. We're not gonna do that. I'm, I have to continue. My next Kindle Unlimited read is Alive and Wells by Hannah Bailey. I thought this would be cute. Um, I think I saw it on Instagram. It's like a cowboy-ish romance, small town. And I was in the mood for that, I guess, in May. <laughs> so this one is about a girl named Cecily and she ends up getting a job on a cattle ranch to get refuge from her abusive soon-to-be ex-husband. And this is a romance with her new boss, Austin Wells. And it looks like she's there on the cattle ranch to, I think, assist the cook there. So there's gonna be like cooking and stuff, which I'm really excited about. But there is trigger warning for domestic violence on page. So please be aware of that. Next, I have Sven's Mark by Ray B. Lake. I'm currently reading this one. I am, I think around 30% of the way through, I was craving a mafia romance. So I picked this one up. From what I can tell of this book right now, as I'm reading it, the hero is um, like very head up in a mafia family and he gets required. He is required to marry 
a woman from a family they want like an alliance with, but both kind of like against their own will, but um, like she's literally walking down the aisle and she's like in pain, like jolting like this. And he's like, what is going on? She has like a diamond necklace on that apparently has like a shock collar with it too. The moment she says I do, he like rips it off of her and like stomps on it. So it's that kind of man. Okay. We'll see what happens because he's like basically thrown her in his room after the ceremony um, and left her there and she tries to escape also. So I'm not like too far into it. So I'm really excited for like this big mafioso man to like possibly soften for this woman. Ooh, next is one I'm really excited about. This is Serpents of Sky and Flame by Rebecca F. Kenny. I've actually read one or two books by Rebecca F. Kenny, and I really enjoyed them. She writes really good fantasy romances. First of all, this cover got me intrigued. I think the hero is a dragon shifter. Like enough, enough said. And my last one that I downloaded off of Kindle Unlimited is A Gamble at Sunset by Vanessa Riley. I picked up this one because there is a bookstore in the town where I grew up. They're having a, um, like a romance book club that I didn't know about. And um, this is their pick for June. I think it's like midway through June. And I'm like, okay, I got that because I want to make friends and meet people who also read romance books. So I've never heard of this book. I've never seen this book. I don't know what this book is about. It says that she's a wallflower and I think he's a duke or something. I don't know. I mean, I, I want to read this so I can make friends in person. <laughs> All the rest of these books I downloaded for free in um, May and I'll let you know if they are still currently free to download for y'all. So first I have Undone, An Age Gap Romance by MK Condry. This one is on Kindle Unlimited. There's not a lot to this summary. Um, but it seems like both of these characters are going through a lot, like emotionally, mentally, and I think they kind of like use each other to help with that. I don't really know. I don't know why I downloaded this book, but I did. Next is Wolf Signs by Vivian Arend. Arend, this is still currently available to download for free. It's the first book in a Wolf Shifter series. This is a Wolf Shifter romance, which I have also been in that mood, like werewolves. Oh, I also remember why I downloaded this because our heroine is deaf. So love that representation, immediately got that. I also got Sporting Goods by Roxanne Tully. This one is on Kindle Unlimited. This is a single parent hockey romance, which I think I just read that tagline and was like, got it, downloaded it. Um, but I think the hero owns a supply, uh, sports supply store. And I think the other one starts working there. Oh yeah, and then the heroine brings in her seven-year-old son looking for hockey gear and lessons. Enter our hero. Then I have The Gilded Cuff by Lauren Smith. I honestly downloaded this because the cover reminded me of Sarah Kate's cover. <laughs> it, it like kind of looks like praise or like highest bidder to me. So I got it. This one is still currently available to download for free, by the way. All I read is he's a reclusive billionaire with a dark past. It was like, say say less. Ooh, My Fair Lily by Mira Platt is next. This is also available to download for free, which maybe this is a retelling of My Fair Lady since it's titled My Fair Lily. I don't know. The summary's kind of long. I'm, I'm guessing. I saw the cover and I was like, ooh, that looks nice. She looks stunning. She looks beautiful. And then you have like the dog from The Little Mermaid on the cover too. So like sold. I'm not very picky with like some of the books that I get for free. I'm like, oh, that cover looks good. That tagline looks good. The title looks good. Let's let's just get it. <laughs> it's free, it's free. Next is Dead Draw by Leela Rain. This is also currently available to download for free. I think this is an MM cowboy romance. Yes, it's an MM romantic suspense featuring a cocky hacker with a heart of gold, a widowed father who needs so much help and a plan only a cowboy could cook up. Who would not want to read that book? Sounds great. But I have Make Me Lose by Ember Lee, which is a small town enemies to lovers romance. Oh, another tagline I just I downloaded off the tagline. It says, Grayson and Hazel aren't just rivals. They were destined to hate each other since the day they were born. Yeah. Yeah. And my last one, didn't read the summary, I just saw the cover. <laughs> this is Royal Alien Mate by Sue Mercury. This is still available to download for free, by the way. I just saw Royal Alien and Mate, <laughs> the title. And um, I was like, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So this guy is a prince. He's shocked when he meets a human and he feels like this really strong possessiveness over her. And I guess he wants her. I don't know, but I love any type of prince can be alien, fantasy, historical. I don't care, give me a prince all day long. So you have it, those are all the books that I ended up downloading last month in May. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. If you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me the pink sparkly heart emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.